Chennai is going through one of its worst water crises. 40% of its piped water supply has been cut as four large reservoirs, which are its main sources of water, have gone dry. The state government has now allocated rupees 65 crore to bring 10 million litres of water to this part city. A train from Dolarpet, which is 200 kilometres away, will ferry the water. A similar exercise was done in the summer of 2016 in Maharashtra's Latur district, which had faced a severe drought. Then, a train named Jaldut had made 111 trips to ferry 27.9 million litres of water to Latur. But is ferrying water by train the solution? And how does this fare against traditional practices of water harvesting? Could rainwater harvesting replace these trains? And how much area would one require to harvest the water the trains carry to Latur or that they will take to Chennai? Let's look at Latur first. And how much rainwater can a hectare of land in Latur harvest? The average rainfall in Latur is about 800 mm a year. One hectare of land is equivalent to 10,000 square meters. Therefore, the total rain falling on one hectare of land in Latur in a year is about 8,000 cubic meters or 8 million liters. But we know that not all the rainwater can be harvested. Even if we assume that a conservative 50% of the rainfall can be, about 4 million liters of water can be harvested from a hectare of land in Latur, which means that the total water carried in 111 trips of Jaldut could have been stored in 7 hectares of land in Latur. What is interesting is the fact that Latur's groundwater recharge is only 10% of its annual rainfall. Similarly, Chennai gets around 1400 mm of rainfall every year. Using the same calculations, 7 million litres of water can be harvested from one hectare of land in Chennai. For this city, only one and a half hectares will be required to replace these water-carrying trains. Carrying water by trains could be an emergency measure, but Chennai has a strong tradition of water harvesting. The problem is that most of these structures are either defunct or poorly maintained. Chennai has 19 major lakes covering an area of 1,130 hectares. But these water bodies have been heavily encroached upon, reducing their spread to just 645 hectares. It's time that we understand the importance of water harvesting.